Thank you for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm going to use The Art of Love Tarot by Denise Jarvie, artwork by Tony Carmine Salerno. Uh, there's the full box, but if you want that information, there it is. The website for this one, I want to say it's Blue Angel. BlueAngelOnline.com, it's there at the bottom. Feel free to check that out if you're interested. Supportive Oracle Cards, Magical Spell Cards, by Lucy Cavendish. Hopefully you can see the spelling for that too, if you want to. This is illustrated by Jesse Reich, which is at the top of the orange. And the website is at the bottom, hayhouse.com. Feel free to check that out if you're interested. And finally, I use um, the Dungeons & Dragons dice is what they are. They're metal. Uh, it's there. It's Amazon.com if it focuses. If it decides to focus. Is it doing it? Maybe. Um, I use the 20-sided one for the Major Arcana. There's Yes, there's 21 in the Major Arcana, but I just use the 20-sided dice. For the Minor Arcana, I use the four-sided dice to decide the suit. And then I use the... Uh, 12-sided dice for which which number card, which only goes up to night still. That's how I use it. Anything else? I think we're good. All right. Hopefully that helps. And let's get into your reading. Hello, Taurus. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Taurus? A card fell out while I was shuffling on the Oracle deck. So, it's already backing it up. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not. Who am I convincing? Me or you, right? Um, all right, there's change coming. I don't know. I don't know about Taurus being a fan of that, but, yeah. Something is coming. Um, I don't know what that was. Okay. So, things are supposed to go on a, cert a certain way. They're supposed to have a pattern, right? That's how Taurus seems to like it. It's an earth sign thing. Things should be where they're supposed to be. Things should go the way they're supposed to go within parameters. I mean, realistically, it's kind of like, you know... When when winter starts coming around, there'll be snow. There'll be snow at some point, so you prepare for it. You know what I mean, stuff like that. Um, you know, certain things should, should just work out the way they should work out. I feel like this is going to be one of those things where, you know, it's getting to that point in the year. Winter's coming. It should get kind of colder. We should have to be dealing with some snow. I should prepare for it. Makes sense, right? Unless you move somewhere closer to the equator. <laughs> And then, maybe that might change. So again, this reading is valid for whenever you come to it. So if you're in the Southern Hemisphere and it's warmer at this time of year, I'm jealous for one. But two, maybe when you come around to this, maybe, you know, that'll make more sense. Um, <clears throat> okay, so. I don't know why I'm so stressed about it, but I'm already feeling like I don't, want this to happen is what I keep thinking. So my first thought, okay, that's the Six of Swords. I feel like your first knee-jerk reaction is, I don't want this, and I'm going to pretend it's not happening. Um, because whatever it is, you really, it's kind of like, no, I like it here. No, I like my house. I like my connections with the people around me. I like being close to my family. I like being wherever it is. And I'm like, Moving to a place that's there's going to be a different weather pattern, like, I'm not going to have that. I don't like that. I'm not going to deal with it. I just feel like I'm just going to pretend it's not happening. I'm pretend it's not happening. Um, but it's happening. If this reading is hitting, I feel like my knee-jerk reaction is maybe it doesn't have to go that way. I keep going that direction. Like, maybe we don't have to do it that way. I think you know a change is coming. Let me just verify that. Does Taurus know this change is coming to some level? 
Page of Cups reversed, and then the Hierophant card a little askew. I know I don't like it. I know I don't want it. <laughs> I keep, if this is going to be hitting, it's kind of like, yeah, I know I don't like it. I know I don't want it. I don't know if I've accepted that it's going to happen, but I know I don't want it to happen. I feel like that's there. I don't feel like you're like stomping around having a fit about it, but it's kind of like, mm, I don't want to do that. It's kind of like somebody saying to me, you know, uh, what can I think of that I don't really like? Like, certain things, like, you know, like, I don't want to eat that. Like, I keep thinking, like, liver. I can't eat liver. My throat closes up. It's disgusting. But <laughs> I just, no. Uh, no. Um, but something like... Uh, it's like going to somebody's house and, like, you know that they're a really bad cook. You're like, I don't want to go there and I don't want to eat that. That type of thing. Does that make sense? Like, I don't plan to go there because I don't want to eat with them. I don't eat their food anyway because I know they're a really bad cook. They, they can burn water. They're that one. Um, whew, um, I want to get past it and move forward. I What I'm getting is like this change is coming and it seems to be... It's better if you go towards it. It's hard. I feel like I'm, I just kind of like... I feel like if I just pretend it's not happening, maybe it won't happen. If it's not happening... If I pretend it's not happening, maybe it won't happen. Um, which I think of Taurus as kind of like more honest with themselves, kind of like if that's going to happen, I just have to deal with it. But whatever this is, it's bothering me. And it's kind of like, I keep looking at it like a possibility instead of a reality for whatever reason. You got the Emperor coming in with fertility. I feel like if you can embrace it, it goes a lot better. And it seems like this might be one of those things where it's either you change or it changes without you. Um... So it's either you change with it or it moves on and you get left behind. It could be one of those things. Keep that in mind because I feel like you want to be a part of this. I feel like I'm happier being a part of it. If it changes and leaves me behind, it's more painful. So keep that in mind. It makes me like physically nervous. Um, so it makes sense because it's like there's a lot of speed with this situation. I feel like if I get on the bus, no, I feel like if I get on the train it's a bullet train and it's just gonna whew, and it's just like oh my god i'm gonna barf it's so fast i hate it like i feel like it's that um great analogy right this i don't feel like it has to come in very fast because you got the new the new beginning starting half in half out it's like it came in the skew i feel like this is something that it's either you you're on the bus and you go with it or you miss the bus and you're left behind and I don't think being left behind really is good for you. Um, what they're saying is, like, don't go with your natural instinct. This is going to sound weird. This is going to look weird. Your natural instinct, is what I'm getting with this, I'm an intuitive reader, is to kind of, like, wait it out, go slowly, and see what happens next. The bus is going to be gone. It's going to be too late. It's going to be too late. You have freedom, obviously, to make the decision you want to, but the change is happening is what I'm getting, and it's coming forward. I just keep feeling like you don't want to be left behind. How do you make peace with this, though? Because Taurus is all about stability, rational thought, making choices that make sense. It's got to go in its place. Totally get that. Totally respect that. Really do. Really, really do. Um, I think that's why I'm nervous. Because I feel like, like if I was to say this to some of the Taurans that I know... I just don't see it going very well. <laughs> I just feel like they'd be like, they would be calm and they'd be nice, but they would give me every reason in the book why that's not happening. And I would just be like, okay. Like, and that's kind of how I would react. Like, okay, then it's not. And I feel bad because I don't think it's a good idea to like let this pass you by because this is something for you. What they're saying to do with this is to kind of start moving with it. And start researching and going with it, flowing with it. Um, I don't know. This I don't know. I'm seeing this card, and this is the direction they're advising. I feel like it's a lot. Go with what you love. Okay, that makes more sense. And just kind of start letting it happen. Go with it. Flow with it. Go towards those you trust that are going towards it and just follow them and kind of let them lead you. I feel like this is a lot. I feel 
You don't have to like it, but it's better if you act like you do. I feel like that's... Okay. Okay. That's, that's kind of what this is. Just kind of fake it till you make it. I'm not usually a big fan of that idea, but like kind of like try to have a positive attitude. Try to kind of like whatever is working, center on what is working. Maybe that's a better way to look at it. You know what I mean? Kind of like if you have to go to that place, that person's house that could burn water, at least it's a nice house. At least you're with people you like. Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe they'll buy a lot of stuff that's already pre-made. Like if they if they have chips out, they probably didn't make the chips. Eat the chips. You know what I mean? Um, try to eat. Try to just focus on what is edible. Go with that direction. Try to focus on the people you do like that are there. Focus on that. Um, I don't know about fake it till you make it because I don't know about that for Taurus. I'm like, oh, I just feel like that's a BS thing. I don't know about that. I feel like more focusing on what you do like and just kind of like leaving what doesn't work. Just kind of like let it just kind of happen. Kind of like, uh, kind of like if I had to eat a dinner with liver, oh, which my throat closes right up. I swear to you, I'm just like, ooh. I would probably try to like mash it up a little bit and try to mix it in with something else that I could eat and just kind of like make it slowly disappear that way. Kind of like technically I ate it. Did I enjoy it? No. But did I eat it? it I ate it. I'm not going to eat. Ugh. I'm just trying to mash it up and just kind of deal with it with the other things. Just kind of like pretend it's not there and just kind of make it happen. That's the advice. Go with it. Let somebody else lead you and just go with it. Um, just let it kind of happen and don't overthink it. I feel like that's asking a lot, but... That's what the advice is. The thing is, you have two different outcomes going on here. It's one or the other. If you go with your natural instinct and pull, ba and pull back, the stress is there. That's the Three of Swords. And anybody who knows tarot, and if you don't, that's fine. I'll tell you what it is. It's uh, heartbreak. It's disappointment. It's sadness. So... If you go with your natural instinct, which would make sense, it would, you're going to end up sad. You're going to end up with heartbreak. It's going to be, you're not going to like your outcome here. If you go the other direction, if you can believe in the person that you're letting lead you, if you can believe in them, I feel like that's pivotal. Because if you can't believe in them, I don't know how you're going to do it. So look at their life. Look at things, other things they've done. Look at the success they've had around them. I feel like this person that you would let lead you it's kind of like, I don't really like the way they do things, but I do see the success they get out of it. I just don't like the path they take to get there. Follow them anyway. Follow that path that you don't like because you'll get to success and you'll get to this outcome. This is the star card. This is hope. Um, some people refer to this as, you know, a wish fulfillment card. I don't usually look at it that way. I look at it more as like possibilities and hope coming out of these possibilities that you wouldn't have had otherwise. Something coming in, something coming forward, something ending up in your hand that you can actually make something out of that you actually want. I'm not really a big one on the wish fulfillment version, but I guess if you're if you're compatible with that, you can go that direction if you want. Um, when this is all said and done, you'll know, you'll see it clearly what you should have done when it's all said and done. That's the thing. It's just, I'd rather, hopefully if this reading is beneficial to you, I'd rather you be at that point where you have opportunity in front of you and realizing, you know what, it was uncomfortable, but I made it here and now I have a great opportunity because of it versus being on the other side and going, you know what, I made that choice. I know why I made that choice, but now I'm unhappy and now I know better for next time. I'd rather you be in the place where you could actually have that opportunity versus going, I wish I did. Hopefully that's helpful. All right. I'm going to shut this down here. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.